Hello there viewers, Ben here and welcome back to another episode of Jet Force Gemini. Last time we ended up making our way into the SS Anubis, getting to the end, but there's quite a few villages we have left to save. Um, so, uh, I'm just looking around the menu. Uh, I, we can actually select Vela, but what happens is, uh, well, I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, when we, uh, when we select Vela, it ends up bringing us to this cutscene. And I don't want that because it's going to start like a whole new storyline. I want to wait till we finish this stage because I think it might not save. Luckily I had the thing saved uh, already before I did this. Uh, if not, I would have. that would have been a terrible mistake. Uh, just, okay, yeah, so I just loaded it back up. But uh, just so you guys know, this is actually being post-commentated because I forgot to record my microphone throughout this episode. I didn't notice it until about seven minutes in, in which case I figured I might as well finish the entire thing. Um, so yeah, we have quite a few, um, not villagers, I keep calling them villagers, god. They're called tribals. Um, I have a, like, a few more tribals to save, I think it was five more. I don't know, I know at first I thought it was uh, just four, but turns out it's five. So, I, f I know them. I'm missing one in this, in this room, because there was, because I mean, I knew that there were a few in this one, but I only found one, ow, grenades, not grenades, mines, yeah, what am I thinking, I'm going insane, music is awfully loud, whatever, I'll just turn the volume down if it overpowers my voice, it is really nice music though, I, I could probably listen to it for hours. But uh, a lot, of, a lot of games have good music. It's like one of the good things. But yeah. Uh. So just checking up here, seeing if there's one of those cell door things up here. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. There's also this glass wall. Which apparently I can't shoot through a glass wall. I don't know, probably like some bulletproof glass. And, uh, oh, wait, is that? I'm pretty sure that's that over there. Wait, what am I saying? I already know. No reason to fake it. Um, yeah, so there's the. There's, there's one of the cell door switches. And that mine gets really annoying sometimes. It's like just having to listen to that thing go, do. Beep, beep, beep. I don't know if that's gonna be synced up enough so that it would be uh, correct and in time with the mine, but whatever. Uh, it's fine. Uh, so, oh, I just wanted to check. Well, first, uh, yeah, I just wanted to take another look at the tribals to make sure that it's five, and not four, because. That'd be pretty bad if I end up having to look for one, look to open a door that I don't even know where it is. So, there's two, there's one, two, three, four. So, no way. Is it? Oh my god, I'm, I'm already, I'm still confused and I have, that's it. I don't know, something about this just confuses me to, like, to no end. About like how many tribal, tribals I have to save. Yeah, um... Anyway, I think I take a look around this room. Because I don't think I've found any in this room before. Uh, oh, up in the corner there. Um, trying to be careful with my aiming. Is that one? I don't know. I don't remember what that is. Whatever. This was the whole yesterday that I recorded this. Man. Oh, uh, there's one down there. Really hard to aim the camera. Okay, and this platform. Get on the platform. Try to shoot that. Thinking about it, this probably isn't the best idea. But we can do it. 
It only has like a few more shots that it needs. And okay, controls. Yeah, I'm not good at um this area here because uh, the controls are weird. Like you stop moving, but you're still like well, you stop hitting any controls, but you're still moving for a few seconds. That's like one of the most annoying control things about this game. Alright, so we deactivated the cell door and we failed the jump. Yep. Okay, we have zero continues. Uh, this jump I like to refer to as the jump of death. Because... Platforming in this game is kind of stupid. Stupid ridiculous. And okay. I have like a panic attack every time that that happens. So we can make this jump and we failed. And we have no continue so we have to start the entire area over again. And now I'm just gonna load a save. Uh, oops. You guys don't know what I'm doing. And we are all the way back here, so we have to get back to that area, so let's do some backtracking. I don't know if I do this on camera, I think I do. Whatever. That's fine. It's only like... Uh, oh yeah, I just want to make sure I check how many I need. One, two... I don't know which door to go out of right here. I'm just that confused and so, um, this room. Yep, that's the right room to go out of. So we have to shoot this target again. Ah, up there. Okay. Cool down does get annoying sometimes, but I mean yeah. I can uh, it's understandable. It doesn't make the game unfair in any way, so... Right here, I just gotta take out that stupid freaking cell door. This stupid, uh... What's it called? I don't know. Now let's try this again. Jump of death. Oh, and I jump way too early. Why did I do that? I don't know. I'm I'm not good at this game, believe it or not. Alright, so... Just look up there and... I think this is when I actually noticed... The, uh... Cell door up there. There's three in this room. That's kind of ridiculous. So I took out that one. And... Just taking a look around. So, we have, um, we have three more to go, I guess. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. Mm, but if memory serves me correctly, which it probably didn't. Oh. I don't know why I jumped on this, because... Still forgot about the whole, uh... The whole, uh, cell door that's all the way over there. Apparently, I'd like to forget that. Isn't that just great? And there's some more Gemini for help that I don't need. Hmm. Alright, taking a look up. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, let's go to this back. Uh, backtrack to this other room. This room, I'm kind of like constantly scared about because there's those flying enemies which are such a pain to take out and uh, it's really annoying when you're trying to take out the enemy because they just annihilate you instantly. Not instantly, but like you have to manually aim at all of them and manually aiming in this game is really not good. 
if they didn't have the inverted, um, the inverted up and down, or if they just inverted every direction, then I would be fine with it, but I can't, I just can't. I don't know why. Uh, there is a way to change it. I mean, I could probably just change my control scheme to so that it would be so that. Uh, no wait, that wouldn't that wouldn't work, would it? I'm basically just screwed. Hmm. Wow, that's super depressing. Oh well. I'm just taking a look around this room because. I don't think I saw any in this room before. And there's all these pillows, so they could be on the inside of them, and it's like, oh, uh, there, there could be so many places. But I don't want to stay along the outside because I'm pretty sure it's only if you go in the middle do enemies spawn. And I'd like to avoid that. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. That would be a tremendous help. That would be a miracle. Amazing. And, uh, I don't see any of them on the pillows. And I just look over there and I'm like, are you serious? Because, that's, it's right next to the door that we left. So, we deactivated the cell door. I think there's only one more left. Maybe. I don't know. So, uh, jump back. I don't know, but uh, I actually thought that there were only four tribals left, so I end up running back. Um, later I find out that I'm one off, because I am an idiot, and I don't understand the Zelda. So, I save right here, so that, um, well, as you know, I don't have a good streak going with the, uh, with this jump. Just gathering these things because why not? I have some time to spare while that thing is still moving around. But uh, I'll catch up when it uh gets down here. Uh, I like just like freaking out my character by doing that. Alright, so I haven't hit. Have I hit that? No, I don't think I did. I don't know. Maybe when we get to the other side, I'll shoot at it. Or at least check if I shot at it already. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. It's weird. Why would I be so stupid? Why am I the stupid one? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the tribals that we have. There's that one. No, there's four left. There's that one that's still closed. And this is when I'm like, oh. I'm an idiot. I couldn't find another one. I'm pretty sure I got that one that one that I kept forgetting. Or at least I thought I forgot earlier when I was talking. But I don't know. It's really stupid how I decided to not record my microphone for a video before this. Because I because I there's was really no point because my dogs were in here my dogs decide they want to just like be loud occasionally and so I'm gonna check the tribal seal I should have one more that I have to save am I correct yeah and the hold but um anyways yeah so the uh the yeah I was trying to record a video earlier that didn't require my microphone but it records my microphone to a separate track anyway so there's literally no point in me setting my recording program to not record my microphone. That was just like a screw up on my part. So I just did a quick jump cut here. Um, yeah, so I found the, actually let me, uh, do I go back and, so that one was right there that I found. If I literally just head through this door, you see it as soon as you head through the door. It's right there. So stupid. So there's that last cell door. Uh, yeah, that just annoyed me. Uh, I was so close. I wanted to see if you could get up there because to the highway at least because you know it's, it looks like you can get to some other areas. Wanting had an increased Gemini capacity that we could get to if we can get up here, but we can't unfortunately. So 
you know, we do our max jump height, and it's not enough to grab. Ah, uh, okay, my computer just went on to sleep mode. That's weird. Uh, whatever. It's not recording right now. That'd be weird. Actually, I don't think it could go into sleep mode while I'm playing a game. Hmm. Well, uh, is it set to 15 minutes? I should change that so that it doesn't go to sleep mode every 15 minutes. Because that is quite the annoying, if I do say so myself. Which I did. Get back. Alright, now time for the jump of death. Ooh. Okay, that was a risky one. But I think I've got this jump down. Because, you know, I'm pretty good at it now. After all those failed attempts, I almost missed that one. But, you know, everything's good. We got all the villagers, tribals, I keep calling them villagers, I don't know why, I kind of ashamed of myself for keeping doing that. But uh, yeah, now we can, well we can save the last tribal now. He's right over here. Look at him jumping, I can jump higher than him, because I'm too pro. Alright, well, we saved them all, yes. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, uh, let's head on. But I don't know, let's just celebrate. Because that's all we need to do in this area. I know in the last area I didn't actually save all the tribals. I might see if we can go back and do that later. So that, because if we can't, then I can't 100% the game. That'd be stupid. They, they kind of look like they would be crates that you could shoot and break open. But apparently not. I mean, they have like these pluses on them, like they're some kind of health crate. So this is our ship. Uh, as soon as we go onto it, we win. Well, I don't know if I want to go onto it. Yeah, I'll go on. So we rescued all of them. And it's a new record. Turn rescued. All right. Most lethal weapon is the pistol, which is also the most accurate and most used weapon. Did I even use the machine gun while I was on here? I don't know. I might have for that one room. I don't know though. Probably. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next episode of Jet Force Gemini. My, this is actually running a little bit longer than the video, though. I will see you all then.